All right, so we're here still with uh, Miss Dottie, and she wanted to have the the insulation on the side of her rack here. So what I did is put insulation over the two top and the two bottom, leaving the middle three open. And that allows ice to form the entire length of the drum instead of driving all of the moisture to the front and forming a big ice ring at the front. So there's just a, a piece of tape holding these in place. They're loose so that moisture can escape from the top and bottom. And then here, if she needs to clean, she can just remove this piece of tape flip this up and access it or flip that down and access it and it's the same on both sides um, but that is just the coroplast signboard same as what's up here and that just protects the top and bottom from the the deep cold of the drum slowing down the warming process there so should see a slight increase in performance uh, in terms of puffing of candy on the top and bottom shelves but as you can see, my first design when I first thought of this was to cover the entire side, and that was fine. It worked well, but it drove all of the ice up into the front of the drum and didn't allow it to form throughout the drum or form less. Uh, so this is the updated design using Coroplast on the sides rather than wrapping it in tin foil. So this Coroplast is available at Lowe's, and then this is just um, Nashua brand um, foil duct tape so it's a foil tape used in the for heating and whatnot so it's a high temperature tape I think it's resistant up to you know 150 degrees or whatever so there you go that's the updated design for insulating the sides without wrapping it in tinfoil